now I'm going to uh, rebuild the movement. And um, these are just two scraps of 2 by 4 that uh, I put magnetic tape on, on the bottom. Do this on a cookie sheet. Hold it in place. Uh, these are just popsicle stick parts that were cut and painted black and uh, nailed down. So anyway, uh, not this kind of clock, but uh, the alarm clocks and the time-only clocks, It's uh, there's an advantage to having it raised up like this when you're putting it back together again. So um, we're going to start with the what's on the schematic number six, the sweep secondhand shaft. Now, that little nub right there needs to go into that hole right there. And this gear right here needs to go underneath this gear. So what you have to do is kind of hit it from the side and slide it over until that little nub drops down into the hole. Not typically have to hold it up and kind of look for it. But there you go. It slides in there. The gears here mesh. All right, next thing uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a schematic, it's number five, the minute hand sleeve. And um, we're gonna put that right on top of the sweep second hand shaft. And now these gears should mesh the small ones here and the larger ones there. Uh, the next step is to put on the set gear assembly, uh, identified as number seven. So, there's two sides to it, and you'll notice this side is larger. We want that facing uh, up. So those gears are gonna mesh right there. Now, um, you can put the uh, number four, the hour hand sleeve on. Now, what I typically will do is take the power indicator and put it on now um, because it's uh, covered by the um, the hour hand assembly somewhat it gets just kind of uh, crowded in there and I want to make sure that I get it right so um, what we got to do is that little nub right there needs to go into that hole right there and this flat area right here there's the nub right? that flat area has to contact the very end of that so we've got it right if it goes down like that. It's like that. Okay. And then the last thing is uh, to put on number four, the hour hand sleeve. And I, you know, do this kind of in reverse order. I make sure I got this power indicator set up correctly. And then I can swing it out of the way and put the hour hand sleeve on. All right, so um, that's how we put the movement back together again. And the next step is going to be to take number two, the front plate assembly. And we're just going to pick this up. And we're going to take the front plate assembly. And we're going to place it on there. So that right there goes through the middle our goal would be to get all of the shafts to line up with the holes that they belong with and that typically happens with everything except for the power indicator uh, it looks like I might have gotten it the first time um, but typically what I got to do is the power indicator up here won't seat in that hole and I have to go from the side and just push it until it seats in there the way it's supposed to. Okay, actually it wasn't seated, now it is. Now once I've got that, I want to keep my hand on it and not let it move and take these screws and start them in there. And if I can get two of them in there without anything moving, then it won't pop open on me and things won't get out of place. With these screws, it's not necessary to over torque them, you know, just uh, nice and nice and firm. And that'll be good to go. All right, and here's our last one. 
Now uh, that we have the movement back together, our next step is going to be to attach the coil and rotor to the back of this. Before we do that, we have to take the uh, rotor off a of test and we've got to lock up the hole that we made in it to clean it out and put new oil in, which I'll show you how to do uh, in the next segment.